Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Discord Legends series. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make an application bot. It's pretty simple with message collectors. So yeah, I'll be teaching you guys how to do that today. So um, for this command, I just created a file in the utils folder. You can create it anywhere you want. I'm just going to put it right here. So if you don't know what this is, a command handler. It's from the first video uh, of this series. So just scroll down to my first video and you should find the command handler. So yeah, let's just get started with this. So for this command, I'm just going to name this apply in here. Um, so first, you're going to define some uh, questions. So cons questions. And we're going to put in an array. Okay, and in an array, we're going to add strings in it. So um, let me just put some common moderator application questions. How old are you? Question, uh, comma. What? Uh, uh, where are you? you from uh, why are you worthy and then comma and then what's your gender okay I'm um okay once you've done that so it's just basic question uh nothing serious okay and then we're gonna define two counters first counter being collect counter equals zero and then a uh, let and counter equals zero so we'll be using both of these variables later on on this video so just keep uh keep it right there okay and then now we define filter cons filter equals m m being the collected message so we must make sure that the me the collected message id is equals to message to author the id it should be already um the same ID because we're gonna uh DM uh, we're gonna message the um author. So I'm just gonna make put it right here to make um uh, it true. Okay, in the filter because I think a filter is required. Okay, so um so we're just gonna do um const app start. So application start is when um await message the author dot send okay we're gonna send it and then questions and then um square uh the array thing and then in here just do collected counter plus plus you increment it okay perfect and then cons channel equals app start dot channel so we'll be starting by dming the author the first question over here and we'll continue the others uh, right down over here okay and then we're gonna do const collector equals to um channel dot create message collector and then filter Let's do this okay and then we can do collector dot on um collect okay and then we can it just do this and then if collector collector counter is lesser than questions or length question the length um and then we're gonna send the question so um channel dot send questions um um collected counter plus plus okay and once all the question has been asked else we're gonna stop the collector so we're gonna do collector dot stop um full field okay perfect so uh we will be asking until it hits the question slang um and then we're gonna stop the collector and then we're just gonna put the reason as field field you can put any reason you want but make sure it's gonna uh, match the later reason so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define the apps channel the the place that you want to send your applications too so in this case i created a new channel called app channel i'm just going to copy the id if you don't watch this uh, make sure you turn on developers mode in discord just go to settings appearance somewhere over there and then you scroll down and then you can see developer mode so in here you're just going to const app channel apps channel equals to client channels the card shall get um and then you put in the id okay and then collector so when collector is ended collector on dot n and then uh we're gonna take in the collected and a reason also 
if the reason is equals to um fulfilled which is specified over here let me just copy that so i don't make any typos okay oh in here we can actually say um channel dot send um your application has been sent something like that okay and in here fulfilled uh, we can do let index equals one and then we're gonna map the responses so const mapped responses into collected dot map so let me explain a little bit so every time um you send a message and it's get it get collected over here and then once we call this collected uh dot the end event i mean yeah the end event and then all of these collected messages will be stored inside over here so you can map the uh, messages like a normal message and then uh, we can do a message an arrow function um and we can do return and we can return a template throw okay so in here we're gonna return the response itself so i'm just gonna do index plus plus okay and then uh bracket thing and then a uh, dollar sign again questions uh square brackets and counter plus plus um and then slash uh, backslash n so what this does is makes you uh to go to the next line so let's say you're something in this line if you do um backslash n it's gonna go to the next line so that's what i mean and then I'm just gonna put a uh, arrow thing, something like that. And then I'm just gonna put the um, the message content, which is the answer for for each question. So after that, uh, we can do dot join. So after the brackets over here, after the map, we can do dot join, and then we're gonna space twice, skip two lines. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, and then we're gonna do apps channel exit the um if statement so apps channel now send okay and then we're gonna set a new message embed okay make sure it's defined over here required from discord.js okay and then uh, we're gonna set author we can actually set the message to author dot tag uh, message to author dot display avatar url dynamic true so you can see it's uh, animated and then set title or you can say a new app application okay and then um set description we can put in the variable that we defined earlier so um oh yeah we need to put this in wait let me just cut this okay put it inside the if statement my bad i don't know why i decided to do that but it should be in an if statement okay and then in here you're gonna put mapped responses the responses that we mapped earlier and then finally uh, we're gonna put the color and the timestamp so it looks a little better color i'm just gonna make it random you can put a color if you want and then dot set timestamp timestamp and then we can just set timestamp okay so let me just try this out let's just start the bot up and let's just try this So I'm just going to go to the commands tab and then I'm just going to do y apply. Okay. And then you're asking me how old I am. I am just going to say I'm 16. Where am, where am I from? Malaysia. Why are you worthy? I don't know. What gender? Uh, male. Your, your application has been sent. So if I go to my uh, YouTube tutorials and I go to app channel. You can see here it displays new applications. So how old are you? Sixteen. Where are you from? Malaysia. Oh, am I worthy? I don't know. Um, uh, what gender male? And then it shows the time over here. So yeah, this is how you do the app command. Okay, here's the last code over here. Okay, I hope this video helps. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, make sure to join the support server if you need any help. Uh, don't just leave comments down below because I am not really active in YouTube um, comment section. But yeah, feel free to join the support server if you need help. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you help the channel out. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye!